This is Ogradowski of We Are Change.org here in Miami, Florida. I am joined by John McAfee, a man who needs no introduction at all. Now, John has just told me an incredible story about his friend Chris Roberts, the man who has been in the news, who recently hacked an airline. Now, he's going under extreme pressures. But first, for the people who don't know what Chris Roberts did, can you give us the full story, John? Yes. Uh, Chris basically was on a United flight from um, Chicago to Philadelphia uh, last month. Uh, he hacked into the entertainment system and took control of the airplane just for a brief period of time. Uh, he, uh, uh, he increased the thrust of the, the right engine, making the airplane go into a left turn for a few seconds. It was at 35,000 feet. Uh, there were no uh, risks to anyone on board. I am a private pilot, and I can assure you that the pilots in the, uh, in the cockpit at any moment, had they even noticed there had been a change, could have thrown a switch to shut the computer off and taken control manually. Um, People like um, uh, the the head of security for um, for Yahoo, uh, Alex, uh, has stated that uh, it was a, a terrible act, uh, lacking conscience. Uh, I disagree fully. Uh, the government, the U.S. government, is now going after um, uh, Chris, uh, claiming that he has commandeered uh, an airliner, which is a terrorist act uh, for which. I'm certain the punishment will be, you know, life imprisonment uh, at the least. Uh, he is a man with a good heart. He has shown us a tremendous flaw in the Transportation Security Administration security uh, that I wanted to know about and we all should know about. Mm -hmm. um, and he has been trying to bring this attend to the attention of the public, to Boeing Airlines and to the, NS the NSA and the TSA for a long time, to no avail. Uh, the government has made a witch hunt out of this. Um, Chris has gone dark um, uh, for his own safety, and um, we have to do something. We can't, we can't just let the government say this is a bad man who, who was trying to harm innocent people. That's not the case. He was trying to point out after trillions of dollars and 14 years of Transportation Security Administration, quote, protection, anybody can hack into an airplane from the entertainment system. Clearly, we have a problem. Yeah, now, the details are very important because he went on the airplane through the entertainment system, got into the cockpit electronically, and was able to do anything he wanted That's to right. the airplane, and he is a white hack hacker. He is definitely. Uh, Chris, Chris Roberts is a white hack hacker of the highest order, uh, a man with conscience, a man with heart, uh, and a very brave soul to have done this. Um, again, I, I do not buy the, uh, the opinion that he put people at risk. I, again, I am a private pilot. I can assure you that the pilots in the cockpit, had they even noticed the tiny variance, uh, could have any, at moment, any moment thrown a switch and said, oh, I've got to take the stick myself. That's yeah. what they're trained for. That's what they're paid for. The pilots didn't even notice that this change happened Absolutely until right. Chris actually and went so to the authorities. That's correct. In fact, the yeah. pilots didn't know it happened. Uh, Chris, when Chris was detained by the FBI, um, because he tweeted a, a little about what he had done. Uh, he then said, yeah, this is what happened and this is what I did. The FBI then said, well, you know, you commandeered an aircraft. This is a terrorist act. Uh, we, we can't let this stand. We can't. You have to do something. Because if Chris goes down, all of us in the security profession, we go down too. Not with him, but soon after. Because that will open the door to government interference and control of an impossible degree that we cannot live with. Now, have you been in contact with Chris, and can you tell us more about the person that Chris was? Oh, Chris is. Uh, 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 not directly. I've been in contact through another close friend of mine. Chris has gone dark, and for his own safety, is only talking basically to one person who then communicates to the rest of us. Um, he's, he's, he's well. He's um, um, obviously unhappy and sorry about what happened. You know, he said he, he's very sorry that he, he made that tweet. Um, you know, but he did, and, and this is where we are. Uh, but he has to have our support, and, and we have to do something. I've offered uh, any kind of support that I can give, and, and I've, I, I believe he will take me up on some of it. Um, I have no small experience with uh, hostile governments and, and uh, can lend a hand here, I think. Is there any way people out there could get involved or help? Because we heard about the story on the national media how a plane was taken over by a hacker. Yes. But uh, we didn't hear about the prosecution by the federal government against Chris. Yes. Is there any way people could get involved or help out by just not spreading this information or help Chris out personally? Yeah. If, if, if you have any regard at all for your own personal freedom and for the personal freedom of others, you owe it to yourself and to us to do everything that you can. 
go onto your Twitter account and tweet, tweet, tweet about the madness of the government's taking all of our freedoms uh, and providing us a false sense of security. And when we point out that, wait, wait, you've taken our freedoms, but you've really given us no security, then they point the finger at the people who have, who have shown us this and say, you're a bad man. You put people at risk. No, don't tolerate it. Do not fucking take it. Do something. Get on your Twitter account. Put something on your Facebook page. Support Chris Roberts. If he goes down, I go down. You go down. Everyone in the security business goes down. Is this what we want? I don't think so. And my last question is, obviously, there's a lot of dangers with all this technology coming uh, into play when it comes to cars, when it comes to airplanes. We have the Michael Hastings stories with his uh, car crash that happened as well. We have this airplane thing that is happening as well. Um, how do you see everything developing? Because with the advancement of technology, it's becoming a double-edged sword, a sword for the government and a sword for the people to fight back. How do you see everything uh, unfolding? How do you see everything playing out, especially in this situation? Well, I, I think it's, it's not quite so much a double-edged sword. I think that the edge is on, the, the, the sharp edge is on the side of the government. The government has the power. It, is, it has already uh, created a pact with the, the industry giants of Google and Facebook and Yahoo. Um, it has a history of, of interference with these companies and obtaining information under false pretexts. Uh, the government has the power. We are fast losing ours, but we still have the power of our word. We still have the power to say something. We have the power to influence. If enough people get up in arms, I don't mean in arms in, in, in a, an army way, I mean get pissed off. Say, I'm mad as hell, and I'm not going to take this anymore. And open the windows, scream it out in the streets, carry a sign, do something. Because seriously, if Chris goes down, we all go down. Don't let this happen. Very well said. John, keep up the incredible work. The link will be in the description below and definitely get this story out so we know exactly what's happening. Chris Roberts and the story cannot go silent with you as your voice out there sharing this story to everyone. Thank you again so much for watching.